Welcome to the 1992 Subaru SVX Light Technical Overview. This introductory video package reviews the light technical features of the exciting performance luxury coupe from Subaru, the 1992 Subaru SVX. This program is an integral part of the 1992 New Model Introduction Course. It is not intended to stand alone as New Model Introduction Training for Technicians. It is, however, designed to quickly introduce dealership service personnel to the technical features of the 1992 Subaru SVX. The 1992 Subaru SVX is the culmination of years of design and development research. The result is the production of a world-class performance luxury coupe. This is a high-quality automobile equipped with the latest performance and safety features. In addition to eye-catching, heart-stopping styling, the Subaru SVX is equipped with the following standard features. A 3.3-liter high-performance, horizontally opposed, six-cylinder engine. A four-speed, electronically controlled, automatic transmission with full-time, all-wheel drive. A limited slip rear differential. An anti-lock braking system, ABS. A driver's side supplemental restraint system, commonly called an airbag system. A rear intermittent wiper washer. An automatic climate control system. A tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Lighted vanity mirrors. Overhead spotlights. A Panasonic 80-watt stereo system with automatic antenna and ergodynamically designed suede-like seats. In addition to the standard features, the optional touring package includes an electric sunroof, vehicle speed sensitive power steering, heated side rear view mirrors, a driver's side eight-way adjustable power seat, an interior leather package covering the seats, steering wheel, shift selector, and parking brake handle and a Panasonic 80-watt stereo with CD player and an electronically controlled six-way speaker system. And finally, there is an optional rear spoiler. Let's take a look at the powertrain in a little more detail. The soul of the SVX is a new, normally aspirated 3.3-liter H6 high-performance engine. The horizontally opposed six-cylinder has seven main bearings, dual overhead cams, four valves per cylinder, sequential multi-point fuel injection, direct ignition, and a 10 to 1 compression ratio. The Subaru SVX is equipped with an all-wheel drive, four-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission, which is similar to the four EAT used in the Legacy sedan. Three crucial improvements have been engineered to handle the increased engine torque of the high-performance H6 engine and to enhance transmission durability. The lock-up torque converter clutch capacity is measurably increased. Another lubrication path provides the rear planetary gear set with improved lubrication. And finally, the reduction and planetary gear sets are strengthened by a new honing process. The limited slip viscous coupling rear differential unit is similar, although larger, than the unit used in the Legacy Sports Sedan. Service is limited to the gaskets and seals as in previous model years. Now let's examine some of the unique exterior styling and engineering concepts that are incorporated into the design of the Subaru SVX. The sleek, slippery profile has a low 0.29 coefficient of drag. This is a product of enhanced aerodynamics. Created by a fluid body design, integrating the bumper with an engine undercover and the body side panels to direct the airflow smoothly around the vehicle. Exterior road noise and vehicle sound and vibration are greatly reduced from entry to the passenger compartment through the extensive use of sound deadening materials. In addition, rubber mounts are used to isolate drivetrain and suspension components wherever possible. The innovative aerodynamic tinted glass-to-glass -glass canopy reduces glare, provides a feeling of openness, and presents a high degree of driver visibility. An improved sunroof design provides a thin, light, yet strong, movable panel which moves up and over the roof in order to maximize headroom. 
Drain hoses remove water from the sunroof opening area to prevent corrosion. The drain hoses are located at all four corners of the sunroof opening and are routed through the A and C pillars to drain water to the wheel well openings. As mentioned earlier, the optional touring package includes heated side view mirrors. The heaters are activated by pressing the switch located on the left side of the instrument panel. The mirror surfaces will heat to approximately 77 degrees Fahrenheit after five minutes. This system does not use a timer. The five mile per hour bumper construction and materials are similar to existing Subaru models. However, the bumper skin material has been enhanced to allow for increased flexibility as well as improved resistance to paint flaking and discoloration in the event of minor impacts. The ABS resin radiator grill and clear polycarbonate lens is integrated with the design of the headlamps. For easy removal and installation, the grill has quick-release retaining clips which attach the grill to the front support bracket similar to the Legacy. The new hood configuration is freestanding without the aid of a hood prop. For greater convenience, the heavily insulated hood is equipped with gas struts. The hood struts may be relocated to a second set of mounting holes to increase the hood opening angle during servicing. In addition, the fiber-reinforced plastic trunk lid is also equipped with gas struts instead of torsion bars. Now for the interior. An ergodynamically designed passenger compartment places components and controls in a comfortable and highly accessible arrangement. The easily readable instrument cluster includes the graphic telltale monitor, the engine temperature and fuel gauges, the tachometer, the electronic speedometer, and the odometer. The highly functional light control stock is located on the left side of the steering wheel, similar to previous models, with the additional feature of the new daylight dimmer cancel switch. This switch allows full brightness for the radio, shift indicator, and climate control LEDs during daylight whenever the headlights are turned on. The cruise control, fog lamp, and security alarm switches are located on the left side of the instrument cluster. The remote control side view mirrors adjustment, the mirror heater, and the parking light switches are located below the left side of the instrument cluster. The hazard switch and the rear window defogger switch are located on the right side of the instrument cluster. The cruise control sub-switch mounted on the steering wheel functions similar to the legacy system with one additional feature, a new cancel function. By pulling the cruise control switch towards you, the system operation is canceled. This has the same effect as stepping on the brake pedal. The cruise control system can be reactivated by moving the cruise control lever to the resume or to the set position. Also on the right side of the steering column is the wiper stalk. The wiper stalk controls the front and rear wipers and washers, plus the intermittent cycle for both wipers. In the center of the dashboard are the automatic climate control switches, the radio, and the compact disc player if so equipped. An audio cover is provided for additional security of the audio system. The optional touring package includes an eight-way adjustable power seat with a manually adjustable headrest. This provides for the ultimate in driver comfort through individualized seat, backrest, and headrest positioning. Two switches control the movement of the seat cushion and the backrest. The standard manually adjustable driver's seat also provides eight-way adjustment for driver comfort through individualized positioning. Four manual controls move the seat and backrest. Three are located on the outside of the seat and the fourth is located under the front of the seat cushion for sliding the seat from front to back. The front passenger seat has a unique storage tray located under the seat cushion. The removable tray slides in and out on rails. A release lever is located on the left side of the passenger seat backrest. This allows the driver to tilt the seat backrest forward and operate the walk-in feature providing passenger access to the rear seats. For additional convenience, there is also a lever on the right side of the passenger seat cushion which performs the same function. The backrest release lever is located under the right side rear headrest. The one-piece rear seat backrest folds forward to provide a pass-through to the trunk storage area. The backrest security lock system operates in the same manner as the system on the Legacy LS sedan. It is accessed through the trunk. 
Now let's take a look at the brake system. The four-wheel disc brake system is similar in design and operation to the legacy sports sedan. Some of the components, however, are larger to provide improved braking capability. A proportioning valve is located on the right front strut tower. Although it looks different, it functions similar to proportioning valves used on other Subaru models. The parking brake system is also similar in design, operation, and adjustment to the Legacy. An access panel is located on the left side of the center console to allow adjustment of the parking brake cable. The Subaru SVX uses the same Nippon ABS braking system with F-valve as the Legacy sedan. For additional information, refer to the existing ABS diagnostic video program and also the Subaru SVX service manual for system operation and servicing procedures. The steering system incorporates a tilt telescopic column with tilt memory for maximum driver comfort and individualized adjustment. The tilt and pop-up mechanism is similar to the Legacy. The tilt adjustment lever is located on the lower center of the steering column. The telescoping adjustment lever is on the lower left side of the steering column. Pull the lever down to allow the wheel to telescope in and out. The pop-up lever is located on the upper left side of the steering column, similar to previous models. The Subaru SVX is equipped with a conventional belt-driven hydraulic pump, rack and pinion type steering system. The standard Subaru SVX model uses an engine speed sensing system similar to the Legacy. The Subaru SVX equipped with the Touring Package uses a vehicle speed sensing type system. This will be covered further in the new model introduction class. In the interest of driver protection, Subaru has installed a supplemental restraint system, SRS, better known as a driver's side airbag as standard equipment. The SRS system requires special handling during servicing. However, it is no more hazardous to work around than other vehicle components, such as the battery, gas tank, or air conditioning system when handled properly. Specific details will be covered in the new model introduction program. Now for the suspension. The McPherson strut type four-wheel independent suspension is similar to the Legacy system. This aggressive system offers enhanced lateral roll stiffness, driver response, and ride comfort. Front toe and camber and rear toe are adjustable. A-shaped front lower control arms and the use of large capacity silicone filled mounts improve suspension stiffness and the isolation of road-induced vibration. The front suspension also has a subframe with an additional rear cross brace or performance rod and a stabilizer bar which produce improved ride and handling characteristics. The front stabilizer bar is mounted through the front cross member. Instead of the familiar one-piece bar, this two-piece bar is splined on the left end to facilitate installation and removal through the cross member. The stabilizer and the link arm are marked with paint to provide proper alignment during installation. The stabilizer bar is connected to the upper strut assemblies by using ball joint connecting rods which help improve roll stiffness during cornering. The rear suspension, which is also similar to the Legacy design, uses trailing links, front and rear lateral links for each wheel, and a rear stabilizer bar. The rear suspension is attached to a floating subframe which is mounted to the vehicle on large capacity rubber mounts which reduce the transfer of road noise and vibration to the passenger compartment. In order to improve rear toe control during braking, the trailing link angle has been increased from that of the Legacy. A support bracket for the front of the rear differential housing controls differential movement in response to the high output torque of the engine. A modified free ring tripod joint is used in place of the front inner double offset joint. This free ring tripod joint has lower sliding resistance and increased strength. Both rear axle shafts employ a double offset joint for the inner joint and a constant velocity joint for the outer joint. The inner double offset joint on the right side of the rear axle shaft has a double set of male splines. The splines engage the center carrier and the viscous coupling of the limited slip rear differential. The inner double offset joint on the left side has a single set of male splines. Both axle shafts are held in place with a C-ring. 
The high-performance 16-inch Bridgestone Potenza all-season 50 series radial tires provide superior control, maneuverability, and road handling characteristics on all types of road surfaces. These specially designed tires are directional. The tire direction is marked on the tire sidewall. The tires must be installed with the arrow pointing in the direction of forward rotation. The stylized aluminum alloy 16 by 7.5 inch wheels reduce unsprung weight and contribute to vehicle stability, maneuverability, and improved ride comfort. The rims are also directional. The left side wheels are marked with an L next to the valve stem. The wheels for the right side don't have any markings. The wheels must be installed in the proper rotational direction. In addition, the enlarged wheel mounting nuts use a captured flat washer instead of a bushing insert as on previous mag wheels. In addition to what we've already covered, there are some other significant vehicle systems found on the Subaru SVX. The exhaust system uses dual front monolithic trinal catalytic converters for low restriction exhaust flow. The exhaust gases then flow to a common rear catalytic converter, to a sub-muffler, and through the rear exhaust pipe to the stainless steel main muffler which has dual outlet pipes. These components provide improved emission control, enhanced engine operation, quieter exhaust gas flow, and improved exterior aesthetics. The new two-chamber nylon reinforced plastic fuel tank reduces weight and eliminates fuel tank corrosion. As seen in this cutaway, the fuel pump, jet pump, and sending units are installed inside the fuel tank. This reduces operational noise and minimizes component space requirements. Exercise extreme caution when servicing the fuel tank or any of the fuel tank components. Follow these safety precautions. Inform other personnel in the area that you are disassembling the fuel tank. Work in a well-ventilated area. Use a fan to circulate fresh air through the vehicle. Disconnect the battery prior to working on the fuel system. Do not connect or disconnect any electrical connectors when the tank is open or disassembled. And finally, don't create sparks of any type. To gain access to the fuel tank, lower the rear seat backrest and lift up the trunk mat. Then, remove the access cover from the trunk deck. Use the Subaru Special Service Tool to remove the spanner nut. Carefully remove the fuel tank components following the procedures found in the Subaru SVX service manual. The headlamp system uses an onboard aiming system to adjust the horizontal and vertical deviation of the headlamp beam. Aiming is conducted by adjusting the combined high and low beam reflector assembly instead of the entire headlight housing, which improves headlamp aiming accuracy. Position the vehicle on a level surface and check the gradient on the outboard side of each headlamp assembly. Align the index mark with the wide center line gradient to provide horizontal aiming. Then, check the position of the air bubble in the leveling mechanisms of both headlamp units. For correct vertical positioning, the air bubble should be centered. The low beam headlamp is a projector type lamp. This lamp produces a better quality light by reflecting the light beams off a one-piece lens and then through a convex lens. White fog lamps are contained in the headlamp assemblies and are located between the high beam lamps and the grill. A subtle feature found on the Subaru SVX is vehicle speed sensitive intermittent front wipers. This means that the cycle frequency automatically increases as the vehicle speed increases. In addition, the front windshield wiper system provides a concealed summer park position and a winter park position for the wipers. The winter park position prevents the wipers from being covered with snow and ice while located below the hood. The winter summer park position is controlled by a switch located on the driver's side lower instrument panel. This concludes the presentation of the Subaru SVX Light Technical Overview. Should you have any questions, refer first to the video reference booklet, and then to the other references mentioned throughout this program. Remember that this is only a brief overview of the vehicle, its characteristics, operating capabilities, and vehicle systems. As an integral part of the 1992 Subaru SVX New Model Introduction course, this program is not intended to stand alone as New Model Introduction training for technicians. 
It is, however, designed to quickly introduce dealership service personnel to some of the outstanding technical features of the 1992 Subaru SVX.